Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, that is great. Abe, you are welcome. Aboka, Joyce, Belunji, Bulage, Jackie, Chemtai, Jovia, Christopher, So today, uh, we are going to do some activity. So allow me share my screen to show you how the activity is going to be done. Uh, but before that, I first of all uh, welcome you from your lunch. Hope it was enjoyable and fantastic. <clears throat> Are you able to hear me, friends? Yes. Okay, that is great. <clears throat> So before we begin, uh, as I'm sharing my screen, I want you to make sure that you, you are outside your house. Uh, you can be outside your house as I'm going to open the activity, or you can be in for some things that you may pick from there. Are you able to see my screen, friends? Yes. Yes. Okay, that is great. So don't look at any other thing, just look at the activity. Is it okay? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, this one is going to be our activity for today, the first activity uh, that we are going to call out. So this one, who can read for us the title of this activity? Somebody to unmute and read for us. Area of containers of uniform protection. Thank you so much. So we are going to look at the area of the container of uniform cross section. So the procedure which we are going to look at now, I think uh, you have done what I've told you earlier before I open the activity. I wanted you to get out of the, your houses so that we follow uh, the procedure one as it goes. Can somebody read for us the Roman Roman A or part A? Collect as many containers as you can within 10 minutes. Yes. Throw about, throw about in your compound or garden. Can File them together and check first them. Wait. Let me intervene here. So it is thrown. Are you seeing it? Mm. Yeah, okay, repeat for us, please. Collect as many containers as you can within 10 minutes thrown about in your compound or garden. File them together and take a photo of this. Okay. So I think many of us you are hearing what she, she is talking about. Are you able to, have you heard what she has read? 
Can you unmute and tell me? Yes, we had... Had. Okay, that is great. That is great. Uh, by the way, uh, all of you, you are, you are just ready for the activity, but then I waited for you to ask me a question who is presenting to you, but then you did not ask, uh, uh, ask me that question. Uh, before I give you the 10 minutes, may allow me to introduce myself. Um, I'm called Nachiria Doreen, and I'm a teacher of physics and mathematics. Yes, and I'm from Boksoga College Mwiri on the team of help platform. So, party A, it, it is telling us to collect as many containers as you can within 10 minutes, thrown about in your compound. That one they say in your home, you look at your home compound and then you look at, look out for those things, all garden, yeah pile them together and take a picture of these ones. So allow me give you 10 minutes as you are doing that. So it is 2.11. So at 2.21, I expect you to have piled them together and took pictures of those. You can take one picture when you have piled them together. Is it okay? So 2.21. Yes. yes. 221, I'll be waiting for your pictures. Make sure I take a picture of the compiled containers. But we don't have them. For me, I don't have them. My dear, it is like the procedure says collect. So it means you're supposed to look around your home and get. Uh, different containers, the one you're seeing, because you can find like you have a, a container somewhere, a tin. So you pick it, you correct as many of them as possible. So you're not with it there, but I want you to, to move around. Is it okay? And you get them. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. So some of us are not okay, like me personally, I'm not home to collect the items required. Where are you? I'm at work with my mom. Okay, at work. Can you try to if you can pick them? Uh where can can you get some things within there? Which kind of work? Is it a shop? No. Can can you can't you can uh, can't you get some things like the one, any container you look, you seeing around there? Any container you seeing around there, it can be outside there. It can be within the, the, the room. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, you try and pick some of them, the ones you're seeing. Because what I know anyway, they can be there. So after taking a picture, you please you tell me. So allow me welcome other teachers. Teacher Goret, you're welcome, Mr. Dungu. Are you also welcome? Thank you, Doreen. Okay, madam. Also, teacher Kijabu, thank you for coming. Mr. Joseph. You're welcome. Please, though I'm on and off, I have two classes to monitor, but I will be here as well. Okay. Thank you. So in case of any problem, please don't uh, raise it. You can raise your hand. I will be able to see it or any other teacher will be helping you out. Or you can put it in a chat. It will be nullified. Where are we? 
after taking the photo, we are sending them over. Where are we supposed to send these photos? Yeah, Belong, you're asking where are we supposed to send the, the photos? Mm. Do you have the link for the Padlet? Yes, I have it. Okay, so you can just, uh, you'll be with your photo. Uh, mm. After taking it, then you can put it there in the chat for part A. Is it okay? Is it okay? Oh. Yeah, after, after gathering, you make sure I put it there. Make sure I put it there. Yes. Give me your number to Watagane. Birunji, can you get somewhere where there are no people shouting? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, Doreen. Uh, I would like you to help me. Can you access the Padlet as I'm here? Okay, let me. Oh, I am also using the phone, and I'm also okay. on a note. But let me, let me, let me get to the Padlet. Padlet. Okay. okay, and we see those people who have put maybe the photo there. Okay. Yes. Doreen. Yes, Mr. Kijabu. Yes, so maybe what you can do for the participants, you can be muting them. Eh? Mm. And I mute copy all. their mics when okay. they put up their hand. So uh, I mute other. all. No, you, you can just you know, when you come to participants and tap on each name or any name, you can mute that participant, okay? Because uh, the room will be chaotic if we, we allow everyone to open the mic. So okay, they can always put up their hands. Mm. Yeah, and then you pick them if they want to say something or if they are done. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, Anod. So, how do I find the link? The link you go, do you have, uh, are you on WhatsApp? Yes, I'm on WhatsApp. Uh, you go. Uh, in your classroom, and then you see the link for Padlet, you tap there. It will take you there. Okay. Yeah. Let me also try to see here. So you use that link, this one, this link. Let me try to copy it, and I put it there in the chat. So somebody else can help me get the links for the padlet, and we put them here such that the kids can be able to tap there and they put their results in the Padlet. You've successfully put the So 
we are remaining with only one minute. Hope all of you have gathered your, you have gathered the containers. And I don't know which kind of container you have. We copy it in at least one hour or so. Seriously, copy. Okay. Yes. 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 Somebody here. Angel. Angel, are you hearing me? Angel. Yes, teacher. I can So, Angel, have you tried to get some containers around your home? Yes, I'm getting some. Okay, you try to get those ones which you cannot afford, the ones which you, you are be able to trace. And have you taken a picture of those ones? I'm not yet. Okay, I'm just giving you one more second to do that. Let me try also somebody else. Uh, Winnie, are you hearing me, Winnie? Let me. Uh, Subi. Subi, are you hearing me? I think we are having my problem with the, the network. Jonathan, are you hearing me, Jonathan? Yes, we are hearing you. Okay, have you gotten some of them? Have you gotten some of the containers there? Yes. And you have taken picture. Have you put it there in the Padlet? Let me, let me first try. Uh, make sure you put your, your answer there. So as you are doing that, allow me to go on part B of the activity. Okay, so here is our activity. I'm sorry, today I'm using my phone, but uh, all is okay. Who can read for us part B of the activity as far as the procedures are concerned? Who can read for us? Somebody should raise up their hand so that I can choose you to read for us part B. I'm looking here. Yes, I'm seeing some hand. Yes, Chemtai. Um, let me put for you. Yes, Chemtai. Not seeing the screen. Aren't you seeing it? I'm seeing it. Kip, are you seeing the screen? Yes, we are. Okay. Chemtai, are you seeing it now? Okay, somebody Not else read for us. Somebody else read for us, but B as Chemtai is trying to restart her phone so that she can be able to see the screen. Somebody else? Angel, yes, please. Angel? Okay, um, well, can, can some of this one help me? I'm not seeing the screen. Can I see it? Okay, read for us, dear. Can some of these containers? Can some be... of these containers? Those are parents, like we calculated. We are not getting you, please. 
can some of these containers be used to measure goods or commodities in a shop, market, or by any salesperson? If so, separate them from the pile, take a picture. Okay, so having collected those many containers as you have seen in, in, in party A, so we have gathered very many of them and they we don't know what they are used for or where they are used. So now party B is telling us to, they're telling us that some of those ones can be used to measure commodities or goods in a shop. Some people, they end up using them even in markets, super markets, okay? And even those people who are always on the roads, they end up using those containers. So they are saying that, by the way, before I continue, is it true that those containers you have right there are used to measure goods and commodities in those places? Teachers, please help me and you allow some people who raise up their hands. Okay. Can, are those containers can be used in those places, the shops, markets, and sales with the salesperson? Anybody to say yes or not? Is there any contribution? Yes. Okay, can you please tell me? Can we use them? Yes, some measure? of them can be used to measure commodities. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. So having heard from her, huh, so if it is true that this these containers you, you've gathered, they can be used to measure are those goods. Can you separate them? Separate those ones which can be used to measure goods from the pile you have. Can you separate them? I'm giving you like, let me see. It is 27 past two. So I'm giving you just uh, two minutes to separate. So at 29, I want you to take a picture when it reaches 29. Has two. What mother mine can use to measure commodity? Yes. They cannot be used to measure commodities. Okay, for you, yours, they can't be used to measure commodities. Oh, can But in those ones you have, by, by gun. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I think you have some yes. of them where they can put or pack things in the shop. Yes, I want you to separate those ones, which can be used in shops, markets, when they are measuring some things, like one quantity, quarter, like that. Okay, Amanda. Yes, okay, that's what I wanted. If it can be used, if somebody or a shop uh, a shopkeeper can put there something, hmm? make sure that container is separated from the other one. They can be two, three, or one. And take a picture. I'm seeing some hand here. Birunji, you have a question? Birunji, do you have a question? It does. Okay, you can, I'm seeing your hand is up. Okay, that is great. So remember, That's which great. I want you to do. Which I want you to do. Uh, help me and mute yourselves. Help me mute yourself. 
like that we don't get very many backgrounds or echoes. So if you have uh, any contribution or you want to give us some feedback, you can raise up the hand or you can type in the chat. We shall be able to see it. So I want you to separate uh, those containers that can be used to measure or where, where they can put things in shops, okay? Take a picture and you make sure that picture you put it there in Padlet. So I'm giving you two minutes to take a picture of those containers used in shops, supermarkets, all on streets. Yes, Arthur Sharon, can you unmute yourself? Arthur Sharon? Yes. I, have, have you done that procedure? Have you taken a picture? No, not yet. Okay, I'm giving you just five seconds. Gumis Riza, can you tell me? Gumis Riza? Yes. As if you have a question, which person are you having? Uh, so, are, are we on part C or part B? We are still on part B. I want you to separate the commodity that is used in shops. I, I want you to separate the container, okay? And then it yes. can be one, there can be two, or they can yes. be three. So you take a picture and you upload it there on Padlet. Okay. I'm giving you members one second to do that so that we can go on party C. Anybody, if you are done, please raise up their hand. I will be able to see you here. Raise up the hand if you're done with that part B. Christian Suvuga, you are most welcome. I have not understood. Uh, from where? From blessed. From what? Blessed. From blessed? Yes. Okay. Blessed, have you picked the, the containers I've told you? She have not understood. What haven't you understood, blessed? I've just joined, so you repeat. Oh, sorry. Oh, now you have the activity. Do you have the activity? Yes. So make sure you get you gather some containers at your home. Is it okay? Mm. It can be of any kind. And then try to take a picture of all those containers you have. Make sure there are many. Okay. Again, party B, that is party A. You take a picture for party A and you put it there in Padlet. Follow the link the in the chat, okay? Okay. Uh, yes, and part B, I want you to separate on those containers you have, separate those ones which are used in shops, markets, or any other, or any other place to measure things, right? Okay. Yeah. So also take a picture and you put it there in our Padlet. Okay. Okay, now friend, yes. now let us go on another interesting part. I want somebody else to give to, to volunteer us and read for us the Roman, uh, the part B, the part C of the activity. Teachers, please speak for me, the person. Can somebody read for us part C of the activity?
is there a particular good choc commodity listed that no. part is c part is c or okay yes which which good stock commodities can be measured by these containers separated in the above list down okay. these goods in your book okay thank you so much dear thank you so much so you have heard on the on the containers we have separated up there the ones which we used to measure things or where we put those things in the shop which of those goods can you try to think of the goods or commodities which they measure in such containers or which they, they, they put in such containers. For example, if you go in the shop and tell the shopkeeper, I need this. So they can give you a container where there is some commodity you are looking for. So I want you to think of different examples of such commodities in those containers, the containers are separated. I want you to write down those goods in your notebooks. So I'm giving you uh, four, four minutes to think of the commodities that can be bought from the containers you have separated in part B. Think of some commodities and then you write them down in your books. So that one, you're supposed to put part C and then you risk the goods in those containers, the ones which you can find in those containers there. Hope I'm clear. Is there any question? Jemima, can you unmute yourself? Jemima? Jemima Clary? Clarity. I think she's not hearing me. What of Daniela? Daniela Tracy, can you unmute? Tracy? Miss Risa, you have a question? Okay. No. Okay, so make sure you, you think about those commodities which we can put, uh, or the ones that we find in those containers we have separated in Roman B. And you list them down there. So that one will be your part C. Make sure you say part C in your book. Yes. Okay. Uh, you're remaining with only two minutes, but in those two minutes, I want us to discuss some of those goods. Yeah. I want us to get some uh, examples of those goods. Uh, can we get some from the members? Anybody to raise up their hand and give us some of them? Anybody to give us some goods? No, I'm thinking the first day. In fact, we may go back to school next month. Yes, what? We may go back to school next month. Remember the SVs? SVs went back. The S4 went back in September. Miracle, mm -hmm. can you unmute yourself, Miracle? Miracle? Okay. Sorry. Okay, unmute yourself, please. Yes, so, have you gotten? Uh, have you gotten? Have you written down the the commodities I've told you to write down in the books? I have listed two. What so have you listed? Okay, tell me what you have listed. Um, I've listed. I've listed these, okay, I don't know how to describe them, but these containers, like 
Okay, you put uh, buckets of Omo. They usually people usually use them when they okay. are selling. Okay, thank you so much. So you have Omo as the as the good or commodity. Yes. Okay, I'm seeing here uh, Daniela. Uh, she has told us that for her she has put soda, water, milk, juice. Okay, thank you for that. Anybody else? Uh, I think now we can go another procedure. I think most of you have listed down the commodities which you can put in such commodities. Uh, yes, I'm seeing some hand. Yes, gel, gel. Can you unmute yourself, gel? Reiko. Thank you. Thank you so much, Reiko. So you can roll your hand, please. Uh, thank you so much for that. Again, let us continue with our activity, friends. We are going on Romani D. So Romani D, uh, allow me to read this one. Allow me to read this one. Is there a particular good or commodity listed that is used in large quantities within your home? Is there a particular commodity or good listed in C above? Used in large quantities within your home, list the good or that good in your book. That is part B. Are we together, Jill? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So depending on what you have listed, You're fine. make sure you unmute yourself if you not have not allowed you. Uh, uh, in part C, we have put down the goods. Okay. And now I want I want you to think of that commodity or the good you have listed from the of the commodity, uh, from the ones you have listed down there in your book and write it on Romani D. It can be one or they can be two, which are used in large quantities at your home. Yes, you can say that for me, uh, maybe as somebody said Omo, but for us we use Omo, we don't buy packets, we buy container. So you think of those answers like that. So it means you can put Omo for the other person who gave us Omo. So list those goods in your books. It can be one or more than one. I'm giving you only one minute for that because you have already your goods. So you're seeing our activity is following each other. So you have to be like hands on. You have to do it. You do the procedure, you finish it, and then you use that procedure to do another one, okay? So are we done with it? Listing that good used in large quantities at your home? Alinda Mary, can you hear me? Alinda Mary? Sui Madrin? Are we together? I don't know whether she knows she knows how to unmute herself. So let me ask here somebody else. Let me go back to Arnold. Arnold. Yes, Arnold. Are you hearing me? Okay, so after listing them down, those ones you use in large quantities at home, I want you to, I want us to go on now, party D of the activity. Can somebody read for us the party E because we are done with party D? 
I, let me hope you have listed that good down in your book, which you use at your home in large quantities. I don't know the containers you had at the beginning, but I think you sorted all those procedures very well. So now we are on party E. Who can read for us? Who can read Come for on, us Madam. party E? Yes, Nick Suriza. Which yeah. Which container party? among your collection? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Which container among your collection can be used to measure these identified goods to commodities? If there are several containers that can be used, group them together and take a picture of your new and final sorted containers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Gomez Teresa. So, hope you, are, you, you make sure you unmute yourself, Gomez Teresa, okay? Yes. yes. So, that is it. Uh, it is saying that which container among your collection can be used to measure uh, these identified commodities or commodity? So you have those containers already up there that we separated in B. So now, going back to our Romani B, they want us to to choose among my collection that I separated, the one that we, we, we use to measure the commodity we have identified in mm. Roma mm. D. Yeah. I want somebody who is talking. Miss Riza, you're talking a lot. Okay. So I think we can uh, we can proceed. So they are saying that which container among your collection can be used to measure these identified goods. So remember, in our Romani D, we have identified the goods that we use at home in large quantities. So if there are several containers that can be used, group them together and take a picture of your new and final sorted D containers. What does it mean? It means that we already have those containers up there. So you group the containers depending on the commodities you have, on the goods you have listed in your book. And then you take a picture of those containers, you put it there in the Padlet. So you put part E. On part E, I want you to group the containers Okay, the containers that can be used with those goods you have listed in the part C. Then after you take a picture and you put it there in the part D. Okay, is that procedure okay? Yeah. Okay, that is great, Lukole. So make sure uh, in your containers you have in party B, you look at the commodities you have listed in party C, and then 
you sort again the containers of the commodities you have listed there. It can be one in your listed goods. You might find that you have only one container up there. So it is okay. You can select that one depending on the goods you have put there. You take a picture and then you put for me on the padlet. I'm giving you two minutes to do that. I'm giving you two minutes, so it will be 52 past two when we go to number F or part F. Are you doing that, Kukule? Kukule? Yes, Belushi, you can talk. Do you have yes. a question? Yes, Sharon. Sharon, yes. My Sharon, iPad yes. refuses to open. Oh, sorry, but I think your phone is having very many apps open at the same time. So it, it would be better if you restart the phone. You are you using a phone or a computer? A phone. Oh, so I think you have to cross some of the the, 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 the tabs you open so that you can give the room for the padlet to also have a, a space. Okay? okay. Yeah, yes. you cross some of the tabs you open so that the padlet gets a room. I'm seeing some hand here. Sharon, you have another question? Okay, that is great. Uh, Blessed, are you hearing me? Okay, Birunji? Birunji? Birunji, can you hear me? Yes, mother. Oh, so what you are going to do now, if it has felt open right now, you make sure that you write your answer there. You can oh. say maybe uh, uh, something like that, okay? Yes. So you just you know the name of the container, you put it in part E, uh, mm. in that part, and then that, that's what you do. You take a picture, you put for us in that part, in the Padlet part late later, if the phone uh, comes back again, okay? Yes. Yeah, so you can write your procedures, don't worry, as you're following what we are doing. Yes, Charity. Charity, can you unmute yourself? Charity. Um, teacher, could you please explain question E again? I'm not understanding it. Okay, let me go back question E. Uh, question E, it is telling us that which container among your collection can be used to measure this identified commodities or goods. So remember, in our collection, uh, we separated uh, those containers that can be used in shops, markets, or by any other sale person. Okay. So in Part B, we separated those containers. We separated those and in Part C, we have listed it down the goods that can be put in such containers to be sold. So Part E is saying that on the commodities you have listed in Part C, okay? I want you to write the type of container that can be used to measure those commodities you have listed down in Part C. It can be one, depending on what uh, collection you have, they can be two or more than two. Is it okay now? But uh, I think any of the containers can be used to measure the given commodities. Okay, it is true. But then when you look at part C, the, the, the goods you have listed, yes. all those containers, are they there? 
Oh, yes. The are they there? Oh. Do you have Do you have them? Yes. Then you can put all of them on party E. Okay. Okay. Yes. If yes. there are several containers, you put yes. all of them. Yes. It can be one, it can be two, depending on the good you listed in C. Can you unmute yourself, please? Hope it is okay. Anybody who is not getting that yes. thing again? Birunji Sharom, you have a question? I'm seeing Christopher. Christopher, do you have a question? If so, you can unmute yourself and then ask. Okay, uh, so now members, allow me uh, okay. proceed. Allow me proceed on party F. Remember, we have taken a picture of our new collection. The containers that can be used to measure the listed commodities in a party C. Now, who can help us and read part F? Anybody who can read for us part F? Somebody to raise up their hand. I'll uh, be able I'm to hear. Yes. Okay, Angel, let me put for you. Okay, ready for us, please, party F. I'm around, Madam. I can read for you. Okay, ready for us. The, your containers carefully from bottom to top, inside and outside. What are your observations about the design, bottom and top, your container? Okay. Of your container. If you have more than one container in your final sorted group, is there anything common about their designs? List down their observations in your book. Thank you so much, uh, Angel. Thank you so much for that. So now, okay, you can unmute yourself there. Uh, so, part F, it is telling us that having separated the containers in E, the ones we have used, to, the one which they can use to put commodities or to measure commodities in C. Now, they want us to study those containers we have selected or we have sorted in E carefully from bottom to top. Make sure you select or you will study that container you have picked. It can be one or more than one. You study it carefully from bottom to top, okay? Inside and outside. Study that very clearly. What are they telling us to do? What are your observations about the design? Hmm? Having studied that container very well, from bottom to top, then from uh, uh, inside and outside, I want you to write down your observation about the design, bottom and top of your container. You write for me your observation about the design of that container in the part F, okay? Outside, inside, top, bottom. And if you have more than one container in your final sort, like in part E, is there anything common that is there between those designs or in their designs? If you have more than one container that you sorted in E, do those containers you selected, eh? do we have some of them which are common? So if there are some of them that are common, you list, write it down the, 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 what is similar or what is common in them. So I want you to write down the observation in just five minutes. Write down part F. You put for me the design, observation of the design of my container. You, do you write that one, observation of the design of my container? Ah, you write for me what you observe. Secondly, if there are two or three containers you have sorted in party E when they are common, well, how are they common? 
or should I get that? Then for, for similar containers, you write for me what is common in the similar containers. So I want you to write down. If you have one container, well and good, write on ready, design. If you have more than one container, if they are both different, you write the design of each. If they are similar, you make sure you write the, you write the what? You write the, the thing which makes them similar, okay? Yeah. So I want, I'm giving you just five minutes. So when it is five minutes past three, or three, uh, five minutes past three, I want us to go on another part. So hope that question is clear. Are we together, blessed? Yes. Are you doing what I'm uh, what I've told you to do? Hope you are doing it. Yes, teacher. Okay, that is great. So make sure you do think very well. I'm giving you five minutes. There are somehow many for you. I'm giving you those minutes. I think as you're opening, as you're thinking about that, let me also try to. Open my PC. So if you have a question, please you ask me. Hope you are doing the activity members. Think about those things. Excuse me, teacher. Which of you? Uh, I want you, uh, depending on this procedure F that we are on, we are on procedure F, I wanted you to write for me the observation of the design of that container you have in your collection, in the final, in the Saturday collection, in part A, okay, in part E. Yeah. I want you to write down the design about uh, the design of that container, okay? Yes. So then, after yeah. we take our photograph, then we send to your group or to your party. Uh, when we're done with party F, uh, you can also take a picture and also put it there, but you can wait a little bit, okay? So after yeah. writing those designs, uh, you can you can first wait a bit. So list down your observation in your book. Okay. Yeah, for those ones who have, uh, who, who picked like three containers in party E, 
make sure that on the three you look for the those containers which are common. So if you have containers which are the same, the, you, you set something which is common in the two, okay? And then after I write that common thing, Okay. Recording in progress. Who is singing for us? Are you done with that? Yes. Yes, I think all of you are hearing me. Are you able to hear me, teacher Arthur? Yes. Okay, that is great. Uh, allow me welcome yes, also another you. teacher, teacher Arthur. You are most welcome for this session. Thank you. Okay. So now anybody, please, can you read for us uh, part F of the activity? Birunji, can you read for us, Birunji, part F? Birunji, the microphone is yours. But I'm not seeing what I'm not <laughs> Yeah, you're not seeing. Okay, let me. Are you seeing what is? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. I'm not seeing the work. You're not seeing the work? 
Yes. Uh, most of the time, it will work. You are the telling. Yeah. Please share the screen. Share the screen. Mm, I'm trying to share here again, but then what they are telling me. Okay, I'm going. I've got it right. Uh, okay. Are you able to say it now, friends? No. It is there, but it is not here. Yeah, it is coming. Are you seeing it's it? There. It's there now. No. Maybe expand no. the phone. It's there. Not You're not seeing it. I'm seeing it is there already. I'm not seeing it. Shadowing. It's there, but it's small. Try to make it a little bigger. Uh, can I just let me see here? You just uh here down here and make it bigger. Magnify it here there. Like there. Mm. Okay. Mm. There. Yeah. I think can it I can proceed? Be read from Increasing there. there? Yes, yeah, excuse me. So I'm not seeing anything. Really? <laughs> but are you seeing the shared screen, dear? Mm -hmm. no. I'm able to see what is there because I've zoomed it and it is somehow bigger. Someone else should read. At least she will be able to hear. Yes, somebody else should volunteer and read for us. There. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing the work. Let me ask somebody else here. Daniel, are you seeing the screen? Tell, tell me, what shall I, what okay. shall I read? Okay, ready for us, part F, such that other people can hear. Read for us part F. Study, study your containers carefully from the bottom or stop inside the inside and outside. What are what are your observations about the design bottom and top of your container? So if you have if you have more than one container in your final so the group is there anything common about common about your answers teacher i need the upper part from a you need the upper part you don't have it yeah i think uh, that when you want to take a screenshot Mm. Okay, let me go up a little bit. Make sure you take it very fast. I'm giving you one second. Are you done with taking it, please? Not yet. Okay, I'm giving you one second. You tell me and we proceed. Can we continue? Okay. Okay. So now, uh, what he has read, he read for us the Roman uh, the, the part F of the question which we have been doing. So that one, I hope all of you have listed down your observation of the container you picked in part F, in part E. Uh, you make sure you write down the design of that container. If you have those ones that are common, make sure you pick out that uh, the common. Uh, the common thing with uh, between the two containers or the common design uh, between the two containers. Now let us go straight away on part G of our activity. Take, uh, who can read for us here? Anybody to raise up the hand or somebody to read for us? Sobi, can you read for us, Madrin? Anybody who is seeing it to read for us, party? Party G. Take a final picture of your notes and together with the other pictures taken, share these in our classroom hardness 
observe each other's pictures and read the notes where possible, provide some comments. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, this part again, uh, it is telling us to take a final picture of the notes. So me, I am thinking that all of you have been following the procedures and you have all those activities done in your book. And I think you have the pictures of what the proceedings told you to take the pictures. So make sure you take a picture of your final notes. The Teacher. ones you have written, yes. The screenshot is not clear. The what? The screenshot is not clear. A which screenshot? Of yours? The one that I, uh, that I got from the first part. Okay, I'm going to put for you back and then you will take it, okay? Okay. Uh, but you first listen about this gig. Mm. So I want your friends to take a picture of your notes, the one you have been writing, and the pictures which you have been taking within our activity. So I want you to do that. And after you share on our classroom padlet, okay? You make sure you take those pictures, the pictures you had for the other containers, the picture, of your final notes, you put them in the chat in the Padlet. Hope you, you have that link there in our class. So observe each other's pictures and read the notes. What they have written. So it means that after posting your uh, you are uh, after putting your answer there or the notes, your own notes in the Padlet, you yourself you're supposed to read through others' notes. Okay. You read it through other people's notes and then you make a comments where possible. Uh, maybe you look at the, uh, I know Mugisha's notes when you were a mother, you look at I know Mugisha's notes in the pilot, you make a picture. If you were charity and then after putting there your answer, you look at Jackie's notes, you make what? A comment, okay? So that's what I want you to do in Romani G. So make sure uh, you do that. So you, if you have some comments, you put them there where necessary. If you don't have any comment about anything, you leave it. So I'm giving you, um, letting you to do that within these minutes. So I'm giving you like six minutes or, yeah. I'm giving you six minutes to, Take a picture of your notes and other pictures you have been taking, you put in a padlet. Secondly, read it through other people's notes in within the, the, the platform, comment where necessary, and then we go on procedure F. I'm giving you six minutes. So meaning that 24 minutes past three, we have to be back here. Just minimize your Zoom and then you go on Padlet. Me also, I'm going to go there to see what you are posting. So in case of any question, you are free to ask. I'm hearing you friends hope you are doing that minimize uh, just minimize your zoom and you go 
you put your work in Padlet. Then after there, we continue with our party H. So we are remaining with the five minutes. We are remaining with five minutes to do that activity in our platform. Five minutes. We are remaining with five minutes to do that. Is that one? Why does somebody one? here? We don't. Somebody is muting. Oh, I told you members, unmute yourself oh, so that we don't get disorganized. Yes, Biron, do you have a question? Biron, can you talk, please? Biron, I'm seeing you. <laughs> Biruji, can you talk? Allow me to ask you a question. Biruji? Madam. Yes? I'm asking. Mm, ask it. Don't what worry. is this topic about? Hey, what is this, this topic, topic about? Too? Oh, <laughs> this topic, uh, we shall see even at the end, but I'll what put it this? also up there. Hey. We are going to find that. Are you saying it? Okay. But we first do a lot of activities yes. and then you come out to the conclusion. Okay? Yeah. So I've viewed that. I'm seeing some people here, they have put their work there, which is good. Uh, Duncani has put the work. I'm seeing here, yeah, very many people here have put the work there, which is good. This is Jamie Charity. I'm seeing some of your notes. So I make sure I need notes to make sure I take the picture of the notes. I'm giving the remaining with three minutes to go on another part. Alvin, I've seen your some of your pictures, but I'm not seeing the notes yet. Okay. So other people try to follow suit. I've seen Jamie's watch. Jamie's work, I'm seeing already there, and other people's work. So make sure you put the work before it reaches 25 past three. Uh, I want to see somebody here. Uh, I have somebody is having a question. Uh, Biruji, you have a question? Biruji? <laughs> What is your question? Irunji? Irunji? Madam, I don't have a question. Okay, you can draw your hand, please. I'm seeing your hand is up. Okay. Can we proceed? Can we proceed? So you're remaining with only one minute. Yeah. One minute so like that you can go and proceed. Yeah. H. So we are just remaining with seconds.
Christopher, are you hearing me? Christopher? Christopher, are you hearing me? Can we proceed, members? It is time for another procedure. Ruth. So hope you have put your notes there in the chat of the Padlet. I have put all the notes and hope you have read through other people's work and you have made comments where necessary. Okay. So now we are going on Procedure H, please go and read for us. Procedure H. Anybody read for us? Procedure H. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing here. You unmute yourself, please. And read. What is common about the designs of most of the final sorted containers presented by the class having, having where they are not used okay. the teacher's pad paper provided to write your answers. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you so much. Okay. So, yeah. So now uh, that procedure, it is saying that what is common about the design about the designs of most of the final sorted containers presented by the class, having read their notes. Use the teacher's padlet paper provided to read your answers. So you go in the padlet, okay? I want you to visit your padlet right now. Visit your padlet, you look at what other people by the way, you have been reading through in the procedure G about what other people have presented or what other people have, have written down. So you tell you tell us what is common. You write in the padlet and tell us what is common about the designs of the containers they have put there. You tell us what is common about the sorted containers each one has presented. Yeah, because I'm seeing here some people they have put uh, they have put cups, others they have put uh, sanitizers, hand sanitizers, and so many. So I want you to go there in Padlet. Uh, you write what is common in the designs of those the containers people have put. Some other people, unfortunately, they have not been able to put the worker there due to the phone problems. But it depends on the pictures that are there. You can make your own observations and write the comments. Basing on your work you have and other people who have managed to put there on the Padlet, you write your, your answers about what is common on the designs of those containers and your design. So I want you to type there. So I'm here, I'm seeing some people are just putting the work. Uh, 
Uh -huh. I'm seeing Anna is trying to put some work here, a same way. So Anna is telling us that uh, in uh, what? I think Anna is trying, is, is just uploading the procedure, uh, procedure F, which we did already about the design of your sorted container. So I want you to post on the Padlet what is common about your sorted container and the containers of others. So depending on Anna's observation for her, she has said that uh, the observation of her design, uh, she said that for her, her design is that the container uh, is made out of high density polythene with, uh, with a symbol and uh, a sanitizer dispenser. It has a rectangular shape so for her, she, she put that. Others, they say that, uh, who is this one? Jovia, Jovia Namuga. For her, she said that uh, her container is cylindrical, okay? But on top, it is round and at the bottom, it is square. That is very interesting. So I want you to put for us what is common about your observation about your container and the container of others. Okay, so I'm, I think we remain with only two minutes such that we can do the last part. Two minutes to do the last, say that we go on the last part. Can we proceed on last part, the, the part I? Can we go on part I? Can somebody to unmute and tell me? Jovia, can we proceed? Jo Jovia Kagimu? Kagimu Jovia, can we proceed? When, um, okay, teacher. Okay. When, okay. You cut, when you cut through the container parallel to the bottom, you see the same shape of the bottom, hence the term uniform cross section. Then calculate the area of the container. Caution. Okay. Please kindly you. find. No, you can stop there. Okay. You can stop on part F eh? or part I. Okay. Thank you so much. So, Sylvia uh, <clears throat> is having a, a hard. I don't know whether she's the one who's having. Jovia, you have a question? Yes, teacher. Okay, like, ask me. So how do you how do you like find that area after after like cutting parallel your container? Hey, but even if okay, you cut through, but also you can just see uh you can just measure the, the what the sides and then you'll be able to come out with the, the area. So here, I'm going to show you how that one is going to be. So here they are telling us that uh, on your container, eh, you cut through the container parallel to the bottom. So when you you do that, you see, uh, the, you see the same shape of the container. Okay. So when you're doing that, you realize that you have you're going to reach the bottom with no uh, problem. So uh, there, uh, when you you look through uh, that bottom, you see that it has a uniform what cross section. So it can be circular, it can be rectangular, it can be uh, 
a circle. So depending on what you have, hmm, which kind of container do you have? The, the one you are using at now, the sorted container. So you're going to get for me the area of your container. So I think you I think you 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 did measurements in senior one. We looked at how we get the area of the circle. We looked at how we get the area of the rectangle. We looked at how we get the area of the cylinder. Okay, and any other shape, it can be a, a circular shape. So I want you to look at your diagram or you look at your container you have sorted finally, the one which you sorted, and then you look at it and see which area is it going to suit? Is it a cylinder? Is it a rectangle? Is it uh, anything? Okay. So I want you to capture the area of your container. Depending on the knowledge we acquired in senior one on how to calculate the area of any object. What you should forget, what you should not, you should not forget is that uh, uh, after you after our activity, you're supposed to find a sack or a big pothen, you put all your containers there. Because remember these containers, by the way members, we just pick them, they were used up. So for us, we have been using them in our activity. So those containers, you make sure you put them in the sack and then you place them where there is a rabbit feed. You can just put them in the rabbit feed. Yeah, it's like that those people who collect plastics or garbage, they can take it. Those things, they can be useful. They can use them to make other things. So in that way, you are doing two things at once. You are cleaning your environment. And secondly, you are giving other people a chance to get employed, okay? So you don't just dispose them anyhow after the activity, but rather, get them corrected, you put them in the rubbish or rabbit pit near there, somebody will come and pick them and take them to be used for other things. You are cleaning the environment and creating some opportunity for other people. Uh, so now, uh, this one, I think you, you are doing the, this part I, the activity, this one, Make sure you write, capture the area of that container, your work, I need it posted for Roman eye on the Padlet. I want to see each one's area of the sorted container. And uh, the homework uh, we should take, uh, I want you to get a round object, measure its diameter and determine the radius, okay? So after determining the, the, the radius from the diameter, you're supposed to calculate the area of that roundy object. So as you are finishing the area of the sorted container and writing the homework, I want to, 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 to share with you how we can calculate uh, the area of an object that is cylindrical, the area of an object that is rectangular, area of an object that is, or a container that is in a rectangular, that is in a square form. Or oh, it can be a circle, yeah. So members try to do that one very fast and I share with you how we calculate the area of different container, okay? So copy that activity, I need it done, please. The answers, you put them in our platform, the Padlet, the answer for the calculation of your sorted container, the area on part I, 
we also put it there after calculating it. Okay. Uh, yes, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, can you hear me? Elizabeth, can you hear me? People here have done very good work. Those yes, ones who are, okay, that is great, dear. So those ones whom I told you to write down the similarity of the containers that they picked, which are the same, okay. Instead of containers, some people they got containers which are more than two sorted containers. So the similar containers, some people they say that they are metallic, others they are cylindrical, and others they say that it can hold liquid. So that was the similarity somebody gave. Mm. Another one said that both teams have handles, they are cylindrical. They have the same brand name. Their top is larger than the bottom. So you're seeing people, they are giving us how the, 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 the similarity and difference is coming here. So that was from Alvin. And then, uh, also I'm seeing some other work here. People are posting, which is good. Okay, so members, are you done with write, with writing that homework and calculating the area of the sorted container? Are you done, please? Birunji, Obulage Miracle. Anybody turn on your microphone? Yes, madam. Okay, are you done with writing the homework? I'm still doing. Okay, I'm giving you two minutes to do that work. This one is homework, okay? Then this one here, this one, part I, is what I want you to do right now in your notebooks. You get that area and then part I, I want you to write that homework in your notebook down there. You do it in your free time, okay? Yeah. So I'm giving you more two minutes so that I can pass through the area of different things before I go, before we call it a lesson. By the way, I've liked you people. You are very interactive. You don't make the work out or maybe the class board. You keep on giving answers and responding to what the teacher is talking about, which is very interesting. I wish you keep it up even more and more in other on, ongoing what classes. I want you to be doing that daily. Okay. People have put nice pictures on the pallet. I wish you go there and see what they have put. They are very interesting. I like them so much. Wow, they're yeah, nice things. Okay, I think I can go on. Christopher, can you hear me, Christopher? Yes, teacher. Are you done with procedure I? Are you done with calculating the area of your sorted container? Yes. <laughs> Kasita, Swabra, are you done with getting it? Yes, sure. yes That is sure. great. What of Eileen, Nalule? Yes. Okay, Winnie, Winnie, Remy? Winnie. 
Willy? Are you done? Excuse me, does I have a question? Okay, you ask yes. me. Um, Teacher, now like, okay, for me, I have um, a cylindrical container and you okay. told me to cut, like to cut through the container part to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know, should we maybe find, okay, now like an Omo container, you know how to get it. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to show you briefly how we are going to do that, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, so can we proceed? Can we proceed, please? Webista, Web Ibra, can we proceed, Ibra? Cynthia, can we proceed, Muxa? Those ones who are hearing me. Elizabeth, can we go on? Yes, we can. Okay, that is great, Sharon. Uh, so now, allow me uh, give you some of my solutions, but this one I did the calculation. So you can unmute yourself, please. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Okay. So Harvin was telling us to continue, that is great. Unmute yourself, that one who is making us this echo. Who is that one making for us some noise? Let me see here, who is that one? Christopher, can you turn off your microphone, Christopher? Christopher, unmute yourself. Okay, so now, depending on what we have discussed today, uh, this one, it's like my food, which I had today for thinking. And also I try to do some activity. So uh, the following are some of my gathered containers, which I had at my home. Okay. I, I, the, the, some of them, I had just even disposed them at the pit. And by the way, I went back and I picked them because of my activity. And some of them were still with me. That's why he's saying them. So here I have my pins, containers. I have two containers of yogurt. I have that one of uh, where they put tea in the supermarket. I have uh, uh, this one here. I think people, they know it, uh, where they put some drink. And then we, I have, I had this one of magic. This one was done. And I had put it there in my rubbish pit, but then I brought it back. Then I had this one for the hair. Uh, this one, I think most of you know it. The one they put in here, the ladies. This one, it's like the jelly, more of it, container. This one, it is the cloud container, clear main container. And the one that is behind this yellow one, it was uh, a, a, a chocolate, uh, container where they put chocolate in the market, in the supermarket to be put in tea. I think you have ever tested that. Uh, so I think having told you what I picked, you have seen the goods, eh? the goods that we are, that are put within that those containers. The goods we have the tea, uh, we have yogurt, we have magic uh, detergent, we have B and A. We have uh, milk, uh, we have uh, a jelly, we have plow masala, we have water chocolate, which they put in what? In tea. So 
Uh, the one that I use on these ones, the ones which I use at home in large quantities, I think it is this one, the magic, the magic, because you see it's container is somehow bigger. So that one, it's the one I use uh, a lot. Also, uh, this tea, tea masala, also I use it in large quantities. That's why you think I also bought a tea, not a socket. Again, uh, the prao masala, also I use it in large quantities. I did not buy that one of 100. So I got this one of uh, somehow big, such that I can use it at home anytime. Uh, so, uh, when I'm to look at the designs of this, of the of the what of the container, some of them are cylindrical, okay. Others they are circular, but some of them are not around here. Others they be square in a square shape. Others they be in a rectangular shape. So, are uh, depending on the shape of your sorted container what is the area of the cross section? So that is the question which they asked us for the sorted, uh, for the sorted container. Me, I sorted out the container. If you sorted cylindrical containers, this is how we calculated our, the area. So you look at this picture from my containers, I picked the cylindrical container, which is plow masala, the one which is here. So this one, it is in cylindrical form. You see, it is uniform. It is a uniform container. I think all of you seeing it from the top to bottom, it is in a cylinder form. It is in cylindrical form. Therefore, I can find its area very easily using this formula here. Uh, the formula for finding area of a cylinder, it is two pi r in brackets. You can say r plus h. Some people, they, they end up even putting uh, uh, two pi r, okay? Some people, they end up putting uh, two pi r plus two pi r squared h. So me, I need one formula, okay? Yeah. So some people, they say uh, two pi r, then, uh, squared when they have opened it to calculate uh, one by one, then plus, uh, plus uh, two pi r h, okay? Two pi r h. Okay, so now here, you realize that to find the area of the cylinder, you have to find the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder. So you look at the, the, the your container, you can measure the top or bottom because this is uniform. You get a ruler, a ruler is measuring in centimeters. So you get a ruler and then you try to uh, get the diameter of this what? Of this container. When you get the diameter of the container, for example, from this point to this point here, eh? Or from this point, you, you make sure you, you can flip it and measure the diameter when it is facing down or when it is facing up, all of them may be correct. So you get the diameter from one end to the other end. And then after to get the, the radius of that, uh, of the radius of this container, you get your diameter and then you divide it by what? By two, okay? Yeah. So it's like here, yeah, I think that one you have, you have got it very well. The R will be D over two to get the radius of that T, of that cylinder. And then the height, this H here, it is the height of this cylinder. So you measure from the bottom to the top here, you get a ruler, so you measure from where the cover starts from, okay? where the bottom is on that on that surface where you see the area of contact between the between the sofa and the the cylinder so you measure from here the bottom of the cylinder to the top 
here and you get the height of that of that cylinder. So the formula you can either use this one here or you can use when it is already combined. So remember, remember that your answer is supposed to be in me. Uh, you measure, since you're using a, uh, you're using the Elula in centimeters, the answer is supposed to be in centimeters squared. Okay, <clears throat> so I got my radius as 2.5 centimeters. And then I got my height when I measured using my Elula was 11.5 centimeters. So when I tried to insert in my formula, I got this answer as 219.91 centimeters squared. So that was the area of my cylinder. <clears throat> so when you go on the rectangular container, I try to use this one, my Tiffin, as the rectangular container. So this one, they normally use it to pack OD, uh, for those ones who eat OD in supermarkets. Yeah, <clears throat> so since this one is rectangular, uh, to find the, its area, you can use length times what? Times the width. So how are we going to measure the length? You look from this point here to this point where you see this. You get a ruler, you put it from this point up to this C point, you get its length. When I measured the distance or the length from here up to here, it was 18. And when you <clears throat> get a ruler and you measure from here up to somewhere up here, you find out that the width of this rectangular container, it was 6.5. So this one has two side lengths times the width. So, uh, for rectangle, it has two dimension. That's why you see I have put length times the width. So when I substituted, I got that answer. For those ones who have square containers, uh, square containers, remember also squares, they have two dimensions. They are two dimensional objects or two dimensions. So also it can use length times what? Width. You can go on to get the area that the length by getting a lula, you measure the length, and then the width, you get a lula, you measure the width from uh, the bottom as here, as we did here, from here up to here. Measure the width of that rectangular thing. Again, when you look at this diagram of the rectangle, uh, the background, or oh, where are the diagram is, it is already in a square form. You look at this, it's already square. So the square, you can get length. This one is our length. And then this one here is our width. So you're able to get the area of the square using uh, the formula of length times the width. So uh, this is this one, the two dimension is supposed to be in squared. Uh, again, uh, for those ones who will find the area of the, now I want you to do what? Uh, to get the area of the round circle, round object as your homework. Yes, Birunji. The formula for finding what? Square, yes. what? for square area for square for a square container a. yeah do you know how a square looks like like in mathematically yes how is it it has four sides when they are equal it has four sides when they are equal that is true so how can you find the area of it i think you say S, then you power by two. S, power by two, is then that volume? Yes. Is then that volume the range? Yeah. Is then that volume? I don't know. Yeah, so that one, the sides, they be equal to show, the, that one shows you that the square has equal sides, okay? So now, if you're finding the area, then we know that the area is length times z with it. So you get the length of that square, and then you get the width of that t square, and then you multiply them to get the area. 
Okay. Yes. Yeah. So like here, uh, we, because we know that the rectangle and the square, they have the same formula for finding area. So you, you measure the length, okay? And the width is of that container. And then you do what? You define, you find the area. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, dear. So now I want you to do the other homework of finding the area of any round object you can pick at your home. You find out how we get this area. So I want you to look for the formula for finding area of around the object. You carry out the measurement of the, the diameter, carry out the measurement. I don't know how you're going to calculate the radius. Then you do that homework and you put it in the chat. Thank you for attending. Unless somebody is having a question, allow me wish you a blessed evening. Okay. Thank you to teacher for teaching. Okay, thank you also for attending. Hope you have picked uh, what you wanted to achieve today. Allow me say bye-bye. Christopher, thank you for attending. Welcome, madam. Yes, I'm seeing you there. Birunji, thank you for attending. Bye-bye. Dorin, Madam Dorin, before they go. Yes, ma yes, Mr. Dungu. Could you, could, you stop, could you stop sharing, please? Okay. Before you okay. Okay. Uh, dear students, uh, I just wanted you to know the senior threes that we need this information in the next lesson to verify Archimedes' principle. So what you've gone through will be required so that you can verify Archimedes' principle. The senior tools, we need this information so that we can calculate the volumes yeah. of different objects uh, within our environment. So please take down your notes well, keep them and recall everything because we need all this information going forward. I would like, I would like to thank the teachers for taking us through this lesson and I hope the discussion can continue on WhatsApp and on the Padlet. Thank you.